Hey everyone, today I wanted to show you how you could rip any DVD right onto your computer or external hard drive. All you need is a DVD player, so if your laptop or your computer already has one, or I use an external one because none of my computers actually have a built-in DVD player anymore, I'll show you that external one. You put the DVD in, you use a free software, and it will rip that file, digitize it, and put it right on your computer, so you could use QuickTime or players like that within your computer to view it, you no longer need a DVD player. So I did this with all my DVDs. I basically digitized them because I don't want to store my DVDs and I don't really have a DVD player laying around besides the one I'm using here. I kind of put mine in storage. So this is actually my own film that I'm going to show you how to rip, but the process is the same regardless of what video or what DVD you're using. So let's jump into the computer here so I could show you the process with a free software. And I'll put a link in the description to the software and the DVD burner that I'm using, the DVD player that I'm using in the description. If it's your first time here, I make easy to follow tech tutorials five times a week. So please consider subscribing. Let's jump in here. The very first step in the process is putting the DVD in a DVD player that's attached to your computer. In this case, I'm using a Blu-ray player. I'm going to put a link in the description to this Blu-ray player. If you don't have an external DVD or Blu-ray player, this one is great for the price. It's also a burner, so you could actually burn DVDs with it. So once it's mounted, this is typically what a DVD looks like. If DVD player launches, just go ahead and quit DVD player. But inside of any DVD, you have these two files. So you don't want to just grab these and put it. You want a playable format, so like an MP4 or something like that. So you need to rip that in that format and in order to do that we need a software so let me go to the browser and this is the software that i'm going to use it's called handbrake it's a great open source software it's completely free and it works excellent now i'm going to use it on a mac but if you have other platforms like windows it should auto detect go ahead and download it for one of those platforms so i'm going to go ahead and download it on my mac here once the download is done, go ahead and launch it and install the application. This is just like installing any other application. The process is the same. And this is the application. I'm going to go ahead and open it up here. And if you get a message like this on a Mac, all you have to do is you have to right click and then press open. Instead of double clicking it, it'll give me the option to open. I'm going to press open. That's the security option in Mac and that's how you get around it. And now I'm just going to cancel this page. This is what Handbrake looks like and Handbrake will take your DVD source and then turn it into a playable DVD that's ripping DVDs on your computer. So let's go ahead and open our source file. So go ahead and select your DVD. In this case, here's my DVD. You should see an audio and video TS file on just about every DVD and then press open. This tells you that it won't support copyright protection. It won't remove that. So if you have a DVD with copyright protection, this won't remove it. And this is the page we get once the scan is complete. So it shows you the title. And if there's multiple things on the DVD, there'll be a drop down. So make sure you pick the one that's the actual movie. If there's special features, just look at the time here. You want something that's closer to a length of a film, an hour 40 in this case. Then you want the destination to where the file is going to be saved. In this case, I'm just gonna pick the desktop here, but if you have an external drive or like a USB drive, you could choose that. And then for format, MP4 is my favorite file format, so I'm gonna choose that. I'm not gonna optimize it for the web. Video encoder is fine. A lot of the presets on this is fine, so I'm gonna leave it as is. A lot of movies are shot in 24 frames, so sometimes this is the best option. 30 is a little bit different, it's more like video. So I'm gonna change this one to 23976. That's what most films are shot at. And I know since I made this film, I know it's shot in this frame rate. Everything else is fine, I'm gonna leave this constant. And I'm not gonna change any of the picture or subtitle qualities here, but you could browse around here if you wanna check out some of these other options here. In this case, audio for example AAC is correct so a lot of these by preset are correct so all I did was open source pick the film and now I could either add it to Q or I could start ripping that movie I'm gonna rip it in this case I'm gonna press start encoding and this process takes a little bit of time usually it takes about 10 to 20 minutes depending on the size of the film so I'm gonna let this go and then I'll show you what to do next so once the process is done, you should get a message like this. It says, put down that cocktail. It might look like a pop-up here, but you should get that message and it tells you that everything is complete. And down here it says encoding is finished. So let's take a look over here. It actually encoded the movie file and this is what the movie file looks like. Let me just go ahead and press spacebar and I'll just put it on mute. 
and just like that it's completely ripped the dvd from here so it took the audio and video ts file and he made it a dot m4v which is a playable dvd let me just go ahead and press command i here to see it so this is the dimension of the dvd that he ripped again you had those settings here that you could have changed so these are all the settings that i used to rip it it was standard def because this is a dvd and dvds are standard def this is the file size mpeg4 file that's the file format that i chose and it's right here on my desktop so now i could store this on an external hard drive i hope you found this useful and you could rip your dvds and store them in hard drives or your computer please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel i post easy to follow tech tutorials five times a week and i hope to see you on the next video Thanks so much for watching.